Morning folks, it's the 14th of January, uh, I thought I'd do an update on my cauliflowers seeds that I set two weeks ago. Originally I put them in my grove house outside and they didn't seem to be doing anything. If I remember rightly it was the all year rounds. I found these in the shed on the plot. I inherited these seeds. Thought I'd give them a go. Wasn't expecting great results. And as I say, I put them in the plastic grow house and they didn't seem to be doing a lot. So while the wife was at work the other two days ago, I snuck them in a cupboard upstairs and I checked them last night. And this is what I found. If you remember rightly, I set two seeds per toilet roll. I expected about 50% germination. And as far as I can see, they're all germinating. Some haven't poked the heads through yet, but you can see where the compost is lifting. So yes, I'm really pleased with those. That's been in the cupboard for two days. And they've shot up. I've got to get them back outside into the plastic grow house before they go leggy. I mean, what, that one's getting a bit leggy already. Focus. So yes, I'm well happy with those. As I say, I'm going to put them back in the plastic grow house because I don't want them to grow too quick. What I might do is take the lid off during the day and just put the lid back on at night. Um, I can see that my one and only grow house is going to fill up very quickly. So I need to get a couple more. I can, I've got room to stand some side by side because looking realistically... I'm not going to get a greenhouse for the plot this year. It's, I'm, I'd rather save up and get a better one next year. Set it up next, at the start of next year. So I've got to get PVC. We're not allowed glass greenhouses on site anymore. I have found out the reason why. Some idiot left a load of broken glass. On another site in Newark, which was a health hazard to a lot of people. So... There you go. It's perfectly understandable. Safety reasons. So yes, that was three all year round cauliflower seeds. They've nearly all popped up. Another couple of months I'll set another batch. What I have done, I've invested in a heated propagator. Because the cupboard has proved that you need the heat, obviously. So that is either going to be delivered today or tomorrow. I did go to one of our local stores and price one up. I think they wanted 40 quid for it. I managed to pick one up for 20 quid off eBay. Still brand new and boxed. But I've been buying again. <laughs> been back in Wilco's, yes. What we got? Oh, not that. I managed to get all of some Brussels seeds. Green marble. Green Marble F1s, allotment favourites. I can sow indoors February, March, April. I'll have some of them on the go in February. Just for the crack, I bought some sweet corn because everyone's growing sweet corn. I like the look of it. I'm not all that. I'm not sure if I like the taste of it, but I know my grandkids do, so it'll be something for them to look at. When can I say that? Indoors, March, April, May. And it is... Sweet corn. Oh, garden. That can't be the variety garden starter. Oh, here we go. 
Bedacious RM F1, which means absolutely nothing to me. But that's like a fun, fun project. And I did say I wasn't going to grow any tomatoes, but we've got some money makers, which you can't go wrong with them. I hope I read this correctly, that I can grow them outside. Yeah, March to April for outdoor crops. So yes, that's another project. I'm going to get these going. Once the heated propagator arrives, next project, set a few of these off. And, as I've all mentioned before, I've never grown onions from seed. So i bought some little half trays. So I've set some onions off and set some tomatoes off. That's my next project. And keep saying good morning to my cauliflowers. Bless them, babies. And I've also trekked myself. I'm excited about this. Horseradish. I love horseradish sauce. When I was a kid, my dad used to forage for this stuff in the edge rows. I used to live on the Lincolnshire Fens. Two quid. Get years of growth out of that. Amaratia rusticana. There you go. And you even get a free recipe. How to make your else radish sauce. Serve with beef, trout or mackerel. There you go. I know how to make it anyway, but I'll try that recipe. Obviously not this year, because it needs to establish itself and get some root growth. Yes, horseradish. Excitement. I sound sad then to get excited by root. So yeah, heated propagator should be here today or tomorrow. Oh, and one other thing. I've started saving my jars. Yes. I'm going to do some pickling later in the year. I've been advised to go for the clicky top ones. My wife thinks I've totally lost the plot. But yes, that's the start of my jar collection. What's she got in here? Oh, look, look, bigger jar there, wait for her to finish. Oh, another jar there. That's a clicky one, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. I'm going to keep forcing pickled beetroot on her until she gives me loads of jars. And finally, on this video, I would just like to do a bit of a shout out for a Facebook group I'm involved with, or member of. Keep calm and make compost. I know nothing about composting, what well, apart from chucking it on pile and turning it over. There's a lot of useful information on this group. Keep calm and make compost. Pay them a visit and have a look. Some great tips. So that's it for today, folks. Uh, got to go to work in a minute. Oh, God. So they're now going back into the plastic grow house, so they grow very slowly. That's I'm going to get caught out. I'm going to be selective. If I finish up with about 12 plants, I'll be happy. So I did set two seeds per toilet roll, so that I can, can be selective. And we'll do some successive sowing. I have got another packet of cauliflower seeds, but I'm going to do them, I might as an experiment do them straight in the soil. I like messing about experimenting. So thanks for watching folks, sorry I've took up so long, it was going to be a quick vid, but there you go. All the best, happy growing, look after yourselves, think about me at work today. Bye.